week 3 light of my life hello how are you today i hope you're doing fine are you ready to learn science stuff great but before we start our lesson i want you to prepare yourself as well as your materials necessary for your study try to find a nice and comfortable place inside your home where you can focus with your lesson. For this week's lesson, we're going to answer three questions. Number one, what is light? Number two, how does light pass through in an object? And number three, what are the different colors that can be identified in a white light? What is light? Study the illustrations below. Can you say something about it? So based on the picture that we have, sun is the main source of light here on earth. Light is a form of energy that enables us to see all the things around us. What is light? Light. It is a form of energy. It travels in the straight lines. Light waves travel in straight lines away from the light source until the waves hit something. Sun. It is the main source of heat and light. It provides energy for plants for them to create their own food. How does light pass through in an object? Transmission. It refers to the passing through of light in some materials. Three kinds of transmission. Number one, transparent materials. It allows light to pass through. Example of these materials are window, glass, our glass, magnifying lens, and eyeglasses. Number two, translucent materials. These materials allow some light to pass through. Example of this are stained glass, frosted glass, tinted windows, paper, paper bills, and some colored bulbs. And number three, opaque materials. It do not allow light to pass through them. Example of this are wood, brick, wall, boxes, roof, and tall buildings. What are the different colors that can be identified in a white light? Number one, the color of an object depends on the colors that are reflected and absorbed by an object. Number two, dark colored objects absorb heat faster than light colored ones. Number three, black is an ultimate heat absorber. It absorbs all the light on the visual spectrum, creating a void of light. And number four, white light is the sum of all wavelengths. So when some people view white object, they are really viewing all visible light hitting the object surface and reflecting it. I hope you learned a lot from our today's lesson. See you again in our next one.